And hey, hello there folks, me RJB from RJB TV, and I had received word that there was a pretty good new player in town, and we're gonna look at that new player and find out if the hype around this new guy is warranted, it warranted, or however you say it, if this guy really has the chops that make it all matter and count. And I think I actually put, oh, I found the replays, I got them, I got them. I couldn't find them on my replay list, but here they are. Let's uh, dive right on in and see what these two players have up their sleeves today. And we're looking at the player Heyoung against Byol. And I think most of you know the player Byol by now. And Heyoung is most likely a new face that you haven't yet seen on the channel or maybe on any channel except maybe Brain's channel or Burger Sounds' channel where he has appeared a couple of times to play against them. So I'm pretty hyped because I feel like the fastest map community needs more of those top level players who have absolutely amazing skill. And I really hope this uh, hey young guy, HJ, not to be confused with um, JH, hey young, I hope he has all the skills, all the qualities, all the aspects and factors and whatever else you can name that combine into what you would call a pretty good player. Let's find out. He goes for a supply depot and a gas at 8, 8, 9, or 8, 10. So once he has 8 SUVs, there comes the refinery. And actually, this is number 8, but you know what I mean. So he's going to go for a double factory build order, which is kind of safe to do when you're on a corner spawn location because the rushing distance from pretty much everywhere is quite long. I mean, it's not as long if you're right next to, like on the 12th or three o'clock spawn locations is not that much of a distance. But for example, if you're right here on the bottom middle of the map, you can travel all the way across the map to the top corner. It's quite a distance to walk before you can actually do any damage. So Heyoung should have enough time to adequately prepare himself for whatever rush Byul throws his way. And Byul starts off with a very orthodox and traditional opening for Protoss on the middle spawn location. You go for a pylon on 8, then you go for a double gateway, then you get a pylon in a choke, or maybe here in the back, then you get two zealots, and then you get a nexus. And that should allow you to get a little bit of zealot pressure up onto the opponent, and get a cyber core, a forge, some cannons, and a double assimilator in the back, while you also have the ability to keep on making zealots with the double gateway, to keep units on the map and have a presence on the map. Because if you go for a Nexus first into a Forge, you don't really exist until like five to six, or maybe even seven minutes into the game because the gateways are delayed and then you have very early gas. Very early gas means that you have less probes on the minerals. If you delay the gas by a little bit, you have more probes on the minerals and six probes on the gas. So the balance of income it's a little bit more favorable for early game and mid game if you go for the double gateway before the Nexus. Because then you can do stuff like this and walk across the map with two Zealots to try and attack. Keeps the probe there in his base to maybe try and wall or put a pylon with a cannon or maybe he's pulling it back home. It's hard to decide. So I like this configuration by HJ or Heyoung where the Marines can hide in between the factories and the bunkers. One SUV does go down. One factory is finished, so he's gonna have vultures very soon, and vultures will absolutely crap on the zealots. Zealots are on a chase to try and kill an SCV, get one kill. He killed two SCVs so far, he gets the marine kill as well, and the zealot makes their escape, trying to chase down that one other SCV that's on low HP, but this vulture comes out, and that should mean that he is gonna be completely fine. As long as he has good vulture micro. He's gonna play it a little bit risky here by going for a very fast machine shop add on, which will reduce the amount of vultures he has to defend himself. He's gonna be on two vultures to defend, which means he can make no micro mistakes. But for the looks of it, his micro is in good shape. He's not gonna make a mistake. He's gonna kill the zealots and keep the vultures alive. And that means that Bill has to retreat back home as a cannon on the way in the front. And the cannon will finish up before the vultures arrive. The SV there makes its escape. You could have stayed in the base, but we have dragoons coming out. He saw the singularity charge earlier, and this is the correct choice of actions by Bjol. If you got vultures on the enemy base and you see them coming out, you go for some dragoons because dragoons will crap on those vultures. But we have mine upgrade on the way there, and when the mines are out, the dragoons become less effective because they have to fight against mines and 
unless you have amazing mind trigger step back and shoot and kill the mind micro without taking damage it's better not to try so the tank is out tank to marines tank into marines surprisingly absolutely destroys two dragoons so we have some mines that are going to be placed in the middle one is either on the side mines almost finished up gonna cut off the escape path for those dragoons you're gonna walk right on into the mines you're gonna put the mines right there and hopefully try to bait Biol into the mines but Biol manages to see the mines in the middle he's not gonna fall for that trap it was a really good design though by Hei Yong and that goes to show that Hei Yong is pretty smart he's pretty smart actually gets one mine pop on those dragoons not a full pop just a half pop so they do lose some, lose some HP but not all of it well let's call it the shield so lose some shield so now we have three tank one marine, three vulture. Again, this is stronger than the dragoons. But Biol there snipes the marine. He knows exactly what his limit is because he's been on this uh, in a situation on the other side as a Terran a lot. Because he is a former professional Terran player. He has fought this situation on normal maps many, many times. He knows exactly what to do. He knows his limits perhaps better than anyone else on fastest map does. He knows his limits very well. And Hei Young still in the lead, still in the driver's seat. Dragoons there trying to pick off units on the sides because if anything moves too far away from the tanks those units can get sniped so Biolo's Blink is very well very controlled Siege Mode is not yet on the way he's, gonna, he's, not, he's not using Siege Mode at all not yet he's just purely relying on tanks to shoot whatever they can Mines are trying to zone those goons away gets double Dragoon kill in one great fell shot the tank there in the front no SUV he should have brought an SUV Usually pro players bring an SUV to repair the tank, but the tank there is staying alive for a very long time, not getting sniped. Biel not doing very good with the target selection, but kills the tanks in the end. One tank stayed alive, the vultures went down, and Biel managed to fight his way through that with minimal losses. Or at least the least losses he could possibly take. And Heyong played it very well as well. Heyong managed to push Biel away from his base and get, I say, some safety here back at home, where he built. Uh, more factories. He's got one, two, three, four, five. Number six on the way. There's no armory on the way just yet. We have a engineering bay there coming up. Got a bunker in the back and a second command center for 39 SCVs. Hei Yong played that very, very well. I, I'd say that's one of the most well played mech openings I've seen in a while. I've seen better, but this definitely stands right there at the top, like the top 10 of best mech openings I've seen in all of my games. It was very well played. He really needs an armory though, because we have shuttles and reavers on the way there from Biol, and Biol is planning on using that to do some damage. So he's gonna need an armory and get some anti-air up and running in his base. For now, he's only building supply depots. He's getting a turret as well there on in the back. Yeah, he doesn't have anything relevant against drops. But here's the thing. I think Hei Young is gonna try to go for a counter-attack when a drop flies into his base, because when a drop is dying in his base it gives him the opportunity to maybe use this army of tanks and vultures to push on that front door of Biol. i can i can kind of feel what he's thinking he's trying to spend the least on defensive units and then maybe maximize on an offensive counter-attack when he sees an opening usually that opening is right after usually right after the protoss loses supply on the shuttle drop because that's when, well, their supply is lower than yours, so that's a great time to strike. But Bill is quite quick with the triple nexus and six gas income, 66 probes, has a lot of technology going on here on the bottom corner of his base. He's getting air armor for the shells, getting shields as well. He might switch into carriers at some point into this game. And he'll be on eight gateways, and another four will probably be built right here. But first, let's clean out the middle of those pesky mines, because the mines are all over the place. And they provide vision like this. You can see shuttle drops leaving. He can maybe kill some dragoons if there's no vision or detection on the middle. Maybe kill some zealots. So the observer dragoon move is a very wise move. I'd say he's trying to snipe the high templars. Gets one. Doesn't get number two. Maybe he got. Maybe actually he did get two. Oh, he's gonna try to get it. Nah, doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. So the middle has been cleared out. Bill is playing a very slow and controlled game. And I wouldn't say he's slow as a player, but he's. Playing is very controlled. He's not, he's not um, impatient. That's the word I was looking for. He's not impatient. He's taking his time to secure the map and go through all the necessary steps and motions to prepare himself for a proper mid to late game. 
because that is where this game will be won or lost. Whoever plays the best middle late game will win this game. We now finally are getting some Goliaths into the mix against Shuttle Drops. We haven't seen a Shuttle Drop yet. It's Bjol largely, I think, because he has this Observer. He is going to stay with making a gateway mass because he can see what's going on in Young's base. And because Young went for 8 factory into a mass, Bjol responded in kind and delayed his own drop. He's now making more shuttles though. But what he wanted first was to have an army to fight back against this massive army coming across the map here from Young. It's a massive army. A lot of tanks, Dragoons uh, are trying to flank from the top, but there's a mine in between slowing them down. A lot of vultures and tanks are on the scene. Young with a very strong push. I like this guy's playstyle so far. This is looking really, really strong. This is looking like a supreme prime time player. Top level. Beautiful stuff. This guy is the real deal. So arrives here in Bjol's choke and Bjol is in trouble. Bjol is in trouble with his more supply. He's using the Dragoons to intercept Vultures, which is a very wise choice because the Dragoons are strong against Vultures. The tanks, however, are kind of strong against those Dragoons, but it will force Heyang to focus on those reinforcements that are getting intercepted by the Dragoons. A very wise choice. The Dragoons are being very useful because they cannot attack into this. They cannot attack into this army. And the Shuttle there might be useful in picking up some Zealots and unloading on top of those tanks. Maybe that's what he's got in mind. He manages to clear out that front line. And the reinforcements are getting slowed down. They've killed the Dragoons, so the reinforcements are now going to be arriving on this location. But it took them quite a while, which gave Bjol quite some time to prepare himself better. Get more Templars, get more Shuttle Reavers, and get more Zealots, get more Gateways. He's prepared, but it's going to be a close, close call. It's going to be a very close call. Now Heyong still only has 8 factories. Great unload on top of the tanks, fun sieges, mines are not getting cleaned. What a lot of pro players do is when they're pushing forward, they kill their own mines to avoid them from exploding on their own tanks. But not a single mine explodes on Heyong's tanks. That's quite a little bit of luck. But at the moment, only 8 factories. It looks like he cannot keep up with Bill's production because Bill has like 20 gateways. 12, uh, 5... Okay, almost 20. It's it's 18. It's 18. It's almost there. So 18 gateways is pretty good production. It's way better than 8 factories. So Hey Young might have been a little bit too slow with building additional factories or maybe even getting starboards. He is getting absolutely the moss on the middle. But Hey Young does manage to keep some units on the middle alive, but he's down by 60 supply. So Bill is definitely in a better position at the moment. He's done a better job of building a base, getting proper production facilities up and running. And Heyong, losing a little here, is now trying to catch up here back at home by throwing down a bunch of factories. But is it too late? He's on triple gas. He's on triple gas. So he has to get a lot more refineries right about now. And the goons on the side are now clearing out those mines to take vision away to make it easier to get those shuttle drops into Heyong's base. He manages to secure his own base, and there's more gateways on the way there on the side. So we will be on about 24, maybe even 20, 25, somewhere in between. Yeah, it's going to be 25. 25. Uh, 23, actually, because I miscounted. I thought this was a gateway, but it's a pylon. So it's going to be 23 gateways from Bio, who also has pretty good upgrades. Let me just check that real quick before I take a sip of my drink. So let's see on those upgrades. Got 0, 1, 0, and 1, 2, 1 on the way. Whereas Heyong is on 0, 1. And that's a pretty good push there from Biol. Managed to clear out the mine that were in the pathway and maybe even kill a couple of those units there in the choke. But in the end, Heyong manages to survive that push, doesn't lose too much, but is still behind by 80 supply. So it's still a pretty dire situation. What he has to, he has to be really quick now. He has to really hurry the hell up. He has to get a Stargate, a Starport. He has no Starport yet. He needs more factories. He really needs a Starport because he is going to need a science facility for level 2 attack and armor. Which he doesn't have at the moment yet. There's two armories and cannot yet fully use them. We got a starport on the way, finally, got drop coming in over the bottom, target firing on the shuttle, the shuttle miraculously stays alive, arrives on location, Reaver is on the scene, Reaver shoots and kills mostly vultures, lucky, lucky break, and the high temples there on the bottom do not too much, and the Reaver that was on the bottom doesn't do much either, so a lucky break there for Young, which should give him another chance to fight himself into the late game, because we are now leaving the early game and the mid game, and we're entering the late game. 
I don't like his configuration of factories now though, because he cannot build command centers right here, and he needs this gas quite badly. Is there still something in those shuttles? I think they're empty. I think they're empty. They're empty. Another drop comes in. Goliaths are in the front. Goliaths are out of position, so there's a free pathway into the backside, and this might just be the drop that breaks the back of Hei Young. Ooh, SCD's having trouble dodging. Trouble dodging. There's a lot more storms in there. He's got four, five, six high Templars. He's gonna storm on everything he can, and he gets... That's about 20 kills already. 30 kills, make it 40. Almost 40 kills. 50 kills. Almost 50 kills. He's on like 45 kills with the storms, and that was... Probably the last thing Heyong could use because now he's in a pretty bad spot economically speaking and his gas income is going to be absolute crap and garbage. But one thing he's got going for him is that he's got a big army pushing across the map and setting up here in front of Bill's base. So it's now or never. Can Heyong end the game right here and now? Shovels flank forward. Is there something in there? High temples on the high ground. No vision on the high ground there from Heyong. Storms on the tanks. He's only got one storm there though. Purple mines in the front there exploding but not killing any tanks. So a lucky break there. More units from the base coming across. But once again, Dragoons on the middle, ready there to intercept whatever is coming across. That's a great, great move from Bill yet again. Got Dark Temples in the mix. No no scans coming down. Scan comes down too late because the Dark Temples are already on top of the tanks. And that means the tanks will go down. I think Bill has just won the game. Hey Young made some small little mistakes. One big mistake, and that was the fact that he didn't have his Goliaths in position to snipe the shuttles. That he had a starport coming out very, very late, when he already should have had level 2 attack and level 2 armor. And he stayed on 8 factories way too long, but he's still fighting. It's not over yet, he's still fighting, pushing forward. He's running out of money though, only 36 SCDs in the bank, making minerals. It's, it's mostly vultures here in front, not a lot of tanks. But maybe the three tanks will be enough. Goliath's coming in there to try and snipe the shuttles that are flying in. He's not unloading anything. He's just buying time with the Corsairs. They're in the front. He's buying time. Mines in the front. Dark Temple gets taken down. Zealous are getting on top of the tanks. The Zealous then get taken down by the Vultures. Great combination work there from Hei Young. But Hei Young is out of money. He's in a really bad spot economically. He's trying to produce as hard and as fast as he can. But there just isn't coming uh, enough units from across the map. There aren't enough units coming from across the map. That's the correct way of saying it. I don't know, I fumbled the grammar there pretty bad, but look at this fight, getting on top of the Vultures, getting on top of the Goliaths, and that should clean out the middle. The infestation of Terrans humans are a parasite, says Viol as he cleans out the middle and pushes back against those evil Terran invaders who are trying to take down this peaceful Protoss base of peace and, and calm and tranquility. He gets on top of everything, Heyong still in the race, but his supply has dropped by almost half. He's like, yeah, he's on half the supply of Biol, and Biol just has to keep on attacking, and that's it. That's it. It's over. It's a done deal. He's dead. He's been killed. Biol wins the game, and that means that we are going to give him a win here. Let's give him a win. And let's continue on with this. One more game. Let's do one more game. So one more game. I've got time for one more game. Let's quickly select that one more game and see how that one's going to play out. I'm kind of excited about this one. I'm kind of excited about this one. Let's see what's going to happen in game number two. I, I'm impressed with Heyoung, but I could see some cracks in his performance here and there. Specifically, not enough gas, not enough factories, and a misplacement of his Goliaths against drops. And I think his SimCity could use a couple of small fixes here and there because it turned out that his SCVs would get blocked by a factory and then be very easy to storm, which you saw happen. They got blocked by a factory. And lastly, he was blocking his own refineries with machine shops. So a couple of things that could use refinement all in all, I'm impressed with the guy's performance. I'm impressed with the guy's performance. This guy looks legit. Looks legit. He was very aggressive. The only problem was his opponent was Biol, and Biol is just a very good player. What else can I say? A former professional player is always going to be an absolutely amazing player, no matter what map or mode they play. It's just gonna happen. It's just gonna be great. They're just gonna be great. 
So Bill is doing the exact same thing, going for a supply depot, a refinery. He's probably thinking, what you tried to do against me, you know what? I can do it better than you did. That's what he's thinking. I can look into his mind. I understand his psychology, his psyche. I can read him like a book. Whereas Hei Yong is going for pylon gas, kind of the same thing as what Bill is doing right here. Goes for a gateway, and then we'll get two more gateways, and a cyber core, dragoon range, and three dragoons. That is my prediction, and you know what? That is actually a really strong build order against what Bill is doing. Triple dragoon against double factory is pretty strong. Let's just hope that Bill can manage to survive the fight here. Let's hope he can manage to survive the pressure. He's gonna scout with the SCV. So that means a couple less minerals coming into the bank that might impede on his progression plans. Who knows, who knows? It depends on where he goes with that SCV. If he goes to the north, he will have information, important information that will prevent him from getting murdered brutally by surprise dragoons. But he goes to the right, the middle right, instead of the top middle. And that means that Hei Young gets to pretty much go into Dragoons without ever getting attacked or punished for it. He's scouting the left side of the map, so both players go in the wrong directions at the same time, but that might add to the amount of surprise, the element of surprise that Hei Young will have over Byo. Okay, now the Marine is moving out. It will scout the pylon, but the Dragoons are almost finished up. Wait, is he gonna go to the top? Is he? Yeah, he's gonna go to the top. So double factory almost finished up. Not getting a third one, he's gonna go for a command center first. Command center first. And he walks right into Hei Yong's base, and there he realizes and sees that he might be in some trouble. He might be in some trouble. And I think that now Hei Yong knows that Biel is probably on the right side because the Marine came from the right side or the left side. He probably knows by now. Gets one probe kill, but the Marine goes down. He has to prepare himself rapidly against this. He's making Marines. He needs a bunker, probably. He needs double add-on. Oh. He's getting double add-on, but we have Dragoons in his base, ready to attack. He's gonna try to sneak on past those Dragoons, go for a backstep attack, and hit those probes. It's a very smart thing to do. It's probably the only thing that can save the game for him, because Dragoons are in his base, and they're killing the SV, building the bunker, and they get the SV kill, which slows down the bunker, which means the Marines will probably die as well. One Marine goes down, two go down, three Marines go down, there's nothing in the bag to defend. And he just built double machine shot add-on, He's got two tanks on the way against six Dragoons. Now the Vultures make their way into Hei Yong's base, but both players are dead and gone. Both players are gonna die. Both players are gonna die. Hei Yong tries to fight back there with the probes against the Vultures. That's never gonna work. But Dragoons are fighting against SCVs, which is never gonna work for the SCVs. Double tank is all the way, but Double tank might not be there on time. One Dragoon gets... No, almost gets surrounded. And five Dragoons. Uh, the Vultures go down. The Dragoons spawned and saved the... Probes. A lot of SVs died. He got 10 still alive. Might snipe one more. He has to take down the tank. We got mines on the way and more vultures. One tank goes down. There's five dragoons there, ready to take everything down that they can. Is there something inside the bunker? No, nothing in the bunker. So there's nothing to worry about here for Hei Yong. Hei Yong just had a rock, paper, scissors win and he pulled rock against paper. He's just gonna win this without a doubt. There's nothing that can go wrong from this point onwards. It's a done deal. Biol has been destroyed. And it was kind of a build order loss, but Hei Yong still played that one pretty well, and Biel tried to make the best of it, but couldn't. So that's game number two, and I hope you enjoyed that one. And we're gonna do game number three tomorrow because this is a best of three, and the game from tomorrow is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a little bit longer than both of these combined. So that's gonna be a blast. It's gonna be a banger. It's gonna be awesome. So we'll see you soon. I was RGB from RGBGV, and I'm signing out, and I hope to see you return whenever you can.